Hello everyone, welcome to this video. I'm sitting in a dressing room in Grenoble in um, France, near the Alps. And I'm gonna be doing a video today um, with a little 3D gallery in After Effects of some photos uh, because I was showing my friend and bandmate Lorelei last night how to do this in After Effects and she said, Dave, you know what I would like? I'd like a little video so that you can you know, can watch it back and know what you were doing. So here I am doing that video for Lorelei. Um, there you go, Lorelei, that's uh, another impression of you. I know how much you love them. So yeah, here we go. I've got a very, very simple video. I think it's gonna be I've got six pictures here of various guitars with me and two of them and you know, some other people in other ones, Lorelei's in there. So I'm just gonna drag them in and I'm gonna create a new composition which I'm going to uh, set 25 frames per second, 1920 by 1080, that's fine. I'm gonna call this 3D Gallery. Uh, I'm gonna make this 10 seconds long, doesn't need to be any more than 10 seconds. And uh, there we go, I've got a new, uh, new composition here. So if I just start by just dragging in all of these, um, all of these pictures here, I'm gonna organize them by type, so keep them separate. So these six pictures here, I'm just gonna drag them down here. And uh, as you can see, they're all stacked up now on top of each other. Um, which is nice, that's what we want. Just a load of pictures in there. So I'm gonna select them all, and I'm gonna click this, uh, this little box down here, which is the 3D icon, which basically allows me to work with not just an X and a Y axis, but a Z axis. So I'm gonna click on all of those to enable that. And now if I just uh, put the first one, if we go to transform, you can see there's now an X, Y, and a Z, and I can move that forward or back, which looks like we're zooming it, but it's actually, um, it's a depth thing. It's giving you the, the extra dimension of, of depth. Um, so let's reset that. So our first one, I'm just gonna leave at zero. That's, that's fine, doesn't need to be there. The second one, uh, I'm just gonna set 3000. Um, I'm gonna set the Z index to 3000 and you'll see a pattern here. So the second one's gonna go back by 3000. That's Lorelei, the person I'm making the video for. Dave, I really like your guitar. Um, that's her, that's what she would have been saying in that. Um, the third picture here is gonna be 6,000 back. You can probably see a pattern forming here. The next one, have a guess, it's gonna be 9,000. See, I'm adding 3,000 each time, just in case you didn't get it. So each one of these pictures is gonna be 3,000 uh, further back in the Z axis. Axis, 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 uh, 3,000 further back. So this should be 12,000. And the final one should be 15,000. So, right, so now I've, um, I've selected them all. I'm gonna rotate them slightly so that they're just slightly tilted. I'm gonna do this in the Y direction, so you can see if I do that, that's way too much. So I just want a tiny little bit of, um, of turn, maybe, you know, 20 degrees, 20 degrees of turn. And you can see that's done them on all of them because I selected all the layers. That's now made all of them turned around 20 degrees. And now I'm gonna right click down here in this space and I'm gonna go new, camera so we're going to introduce a virtual camera and this virtual camera will be the thing that moves up and down and basically turns it into a, uh, a gallery so i'm going to set the point of interest here um, you can see if i move that across it changes where i'm looking at so i'm going to pull that across so it's slightly to the right this one and then i'm going to change the position slightly so it flattens out so you can see I'm almost like counteracting now by setting the point of interest as one thing and then the position of the camera the other. You see I'm counteracting the little rotation, the little Y rotation that I did on the individual ones. And you can see now we're starting to get 
a little bit of this uh, this picture behind it and you start to see the depth. So I'm going to mark those two by clicking the, um, the, the toggle here. I'm going to mark that as the place we want to start. And then I'm just going to go somewhere here, not quite the end. Um, <clears throat> and I'm going to set this to 15,000, the point of interest to 15,000 because that's where we want to end up. And this one here will be that plus 15 thousand it's great that you can just do maths directly in the uh, in the parameter which is nice so now that takes us to our last photo you see I've added 15,000 to each of those which takes us to our last photo and now I'm going to drag that out to the end so um, that's at the end so now you can see as we move along the camera is moving like that now that's not exactly how I want to do it because I think there's a there's a better way of doing that. Um, so I'm going to skew it off slightly more to the right there. Just bring it off to the right and then bring them more around like that so you get a bit of cascade. And then this is where you can kind of fiddle it. And then we're going to go to the end. I'm going to bring this in actually so the end is a little bit sooner. Okay, so that's better. It's I need a lot more negative value there. And then I'll bring that across to there like that. So hopefully that will... Yeah, that's better. So now they're... So as long as you get the beginning and the end right, you should be able to you know, have, a, have a feeling of a, of a gallery with the camera moving across the gallery and you're, you're getting each new photo revealed. Maybe if I do that we can hide some of the others so it reveals them a little bit more as we go no I preferred it as it was actually that's quite nice so we see Lorelei clearly there and then we see Chris clearly then we get me with the Les Paul then we get Lara with that guitar then we get that guitar on its own okay so <laughs> What we've done is basically set up these six pictures, 3,000 pixels apart in the um, in the Z dimension, and um, we've turned them a little bit, then put a virtual camera in there, and using the uh, the the place where it uh, what's what's the exact wording on that? It's the uh, point of interest and the position. We've kind of counteracted that initial turn in the image, and uh, also got this kind of cascading effect where you can see all the next ones uh, going down and then we've basically made a movement um, set a start point there which is for the first uh, the first frame and then move through to the last photo which is there I'm going to move these last frames up so it's exactly on the 10 second point so that is the final frame there we go so now let's play it through and see what that looks like. A little bit juddery. That's because it was calculating it. And go around again. It's not going to be as juddery now. Very nice. That's exactly what I wanted. Okay, so let's just um, do some other stuff in the background. So I'm just going to make a. Uh, I'm just going to put solid color. In the background, put a grey. Um, I'm going to um, use some effects up here, which are probably covered up by my face, but you might see them just under that. So um, let's just get a noise pattern. Get some, um, some some standard noise. See what that looks like first. Just a bit of um, bit of noise like that. I say a bit, a lot of noise. Um, I'm then going to put a blur on that. Uh, let's have a um, like a camera blur, camera lens blur on that. So um, and now, can we evolve this noise amount of noise? 
does it evolve automatically? Oh, it does evolve automatically, so that's nice. I've just got a bit of noise. And I'm going to get the Lumetri color plugin, which I'm going to put over the top of the lot. And I want to introduce a little bit of a vignette. So I think that will look quite nice. Um, so there we go. That's kind of rendered it through now. It's probably disturbed the recording on OBS. I hope that hasn't screwed it up. But um, yeah, so this is the result. There we go. Very simple, but very effective. And um, Lorelei, I hope that helps you. Thank you, Dave. That looks good. And she does sound like that. So uh, there we go. See you later, everyone. Please subscribe if you like it. Please leave us a comment, all that. Bye.